a whole big stack of magazines accumulated. I'm going to go through part of those with you. It's time for me to harvest what I want and clear the rest away. Um, so I'm going to be working on that. There are a few different things that I am looking for. One is I do collage art projects, so I am looking for bits of paper um, that I want to use for that. Another is that I do daily journaling, so I'm just looking for items and objects that would work well for that. And I also do like art journaling um, that I kind of use different types of things for, more people images and stuff maybe. And then, well, okay, so I guess there's four because I also keep some words um, to use. So those are the things that I'm looking for as I go through my magazines and um, harvest. I subscribe to some that are like really inexpensive, like $5 a year. Um, makes each issue pretty inexpensive. I also pick up some here and there um, because that I really like to use. Um, I watch for them also, you know, like in thrift stores and stuff, although I have not been to one of those for a long, long time. So I mainly rely on the ones coming to me in the mail um, with my subscriptions. So I'm just going to set the stack aside and just start going through. I haven't through even looked at these you. yet, so I don't know what I'm going to find, but I I'm just going to jump in. So already in this first page, I kind of like this blue. I see this could be kind of cool in something. But I'm going to check the other side. So I always regret if I don't check the other side. Inevitably, there's something on the other side I should have used. So pieces like this are going to go straight into my scrap basket um, where I keep my small pieces for my art collage. Bigger pieces, you know, I try to file away by color and everything, but the small pieces I just toss in there. I'm kind of thinking these lemons have, some, this full of lemons has some potential. The whole when life gives you lemons business. So I'm going to say that. That's going to go in a pile, though, for uh, journaling. Oh, there's some more. And I also want this. These words are rather handy. I might save that little bit of whatever this wallpaper design here is, too. That, I think, could be cool. There's certain colors that are kind of harder to come by, so I kind of watch for those. I still think these lemons have a lot of potential. So I'm going to keep those. Also, really kind of like this color right here. Sometimes the smallest little scraps are just the perfect thing that you need. So, see, that's just a beautiful little piece right there. I love using magazines in my collage work because they're the paper's fairly thin. Ooh that page for the color. This one also has some good potential.
say that plural. Kind of like these boots. Also like this word delights. I like that could come in handy. Saving this pretty color. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and speed things up and um, finish going through here. I try not to think too long, just pretty much if I can right away think of some how I would use something, I keep it, and if not, then it goes by the wayside, and I'm sure I make some mistakes in that process and don't say some things I should keep and probably keep some things that I don't end up using, but the truth is, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time um, on this, going through each and every image and making an evaluation, so... I just kind of things that immediately draw my eye, I go for, and the rest ends up in recycling. I always keep eyes. There's so many wonderful things um, you can do with eyes, and I'm always drawn to those, so I always keep those. Most of the faces I keep also uh, for a variety of things. Um, and then this is just uh, for the color.
Breathe magazine is a little more pricey, but it's one of my favorites. It always is loaded with really good illustrations. I do find sometimes like some of, once in a while the older copies on Amazon will be a little cheaper, so I try to get those. Um, you also can get the online version as well, but I prefer the print edition for, you know, actually uh, printing, printing out and using for collage. So there's always enough stuff. I feel like it warrants getting it on occasion at least. And um, so I always find a lot of good things in these. art supply catalog because I'm always uh, looking for little art uh, bits to use in my journals so I am just not cutting out a lot of things but a few things here and there that I know I'll want to use and I get catalogs somewhat frequently so I'll have other chances to um, pull things out but um, I thought I'd just grab a few things before I put it into recycling. Travel and Leisure 
t-shirt cover has a fun image that would work really good for um, in a smash up collage I think that diver and then I'm also just cutting out um, some of these beautiful color and some of the uh, letters or words as well I'm planning to do a garden piece and I just see this red and think about um, like a radish and so I don't know for sure if I'll end up using it on that or not but that's kind of what uh, I had in mind for that at the moment this these buildings I think could also be fun in a smash up collage and then um, just some other uh, pieces for the pattern and texture <music> potential to sneak into somewhere. colors in this mesh bag make me think it would be, and also the shape of it I guess, um, a really fun chicken belly. These basket textures could be really fun in something.
words, not as the words they are, but just as kind of a graphic pattern. So I just kind of cut them in half so they're not legible. Um, I really like the blue, light blue background they're on as well. This magazine has some really um, funky poses and outfits and hairdos and things like that that have um, some interesting potential for all kinds of things. Like look at look at these. Um, yeah, I don't know for sure what I'll use them for, but I can see them being really fun to use in an art journal. So I'm going to save them. So I've worked my way through my little stack and I'm gonna stop for today. Um, I have my little basket of collage papers kind of restocked. I have a whole stack here of things that can go into um, journals and I'll get those sorted into their proper little envelopes or some of them I'll just use right away because I have plans for them for my journal already. Then some of the other things like the words or the smash up collage bits, I've you can't see it off camera, but I have a couple trays over there that I actually just sorted them into their proper home right as I did them. Um, so I feel like I was productive and have a bunch of new little uh, collaging of various sorts spotter to use. So thanks for uh, going through these magazines with me. I hope you have fun um, gathering collage material yourself. And I'll see you next time.